what a sight to behold. Nestled right up here in the uh, mountains, as you can see. And uh, we took a, uh, a cable car to get here alongside a, uh, a train a train ride, which is very nice. It was uh, quite an interesting little journey. Um, don't get to see stuff like this often, do you? <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're currently in the process of uh, working our way over to a place called Grindelwald. Uh, that should be quite interesting, but yeah, there you go. I think there's a town just down there, so we may go and visit that shortly as well. But yeah, there you go. So we've made it to the village of Murin, or the actual place itself, where the action's all happening. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's very nice. Uh, you don't get to come to places like this very often. So uh, yeah, definitely uh, definitely recommend. It. Yeah, this is as traditional as you get. Look at that. The old buildings. Yeah, I've always been interested in this part of the world. I've always had a fascination with Germany, specifically, but I've never really thought about coming to Switzerland. I mean, obviously, would I return? I'm not entirely sure yet. It's very expensive. Um, very, very beautiful, but yeah, very expensive at the same time. Oh wow, there you go. You can get the mountain just there, look. You've got to pay like 40 euros. And that's half price as well, by the way. It's actually 80 euros each, or 80 pound each, or whatever it is. Let's see what you can get in the Jungfrau restaurant. Oh. So our room costs 250 Swiss francs, about 250 pound, near that. And then, yeah, like that for that, 19 for that, 10 for that. Yeah, you got to come loaded with uh, with pennies if you want to go to a place like this. Yeah, very nice. Look at that. Yeah, so taking you for a little walk around the uh, what is a traditional Swiss mountain village. We've got about four, five more hours up, up in the Alps and then we've got to return back to Basel and then we'll probably do a little video from there as well to show you about. I'm going to be completely honest from what I've seen so far it's not the prettiest of cities but that's just probably where we're staying. Um, lots of graffiti, lots of lots of people begging, lots of people sleeping rough, lots of gangs hanging around in the corners as well which is quite scary. They didn't seem to give us any hassle so <laughs> but yeah it was uh, a little bit of a shock really because obviously we had this expectation of Switzerland being this paradise which of course in a place like this it is but then uh, somewhere like uh, Basel which is a bit more of a you know a bit more of a larger city I guess you could say the uh, the vibe changes a little bit <laughs> but you know one thing that really has impressed me about Switzerland is the uh, the people's language abilities. You know, people can speak several languages here, and that's uh, very impressive. Obviously, for an Englishman who, uh, where I live, English is more or less the only language we can speak. There are a few people that can speak several languages who are English, but they're few and far between. My God, <laughs> I know how high up we are, man, with the uh, the air. It's a, yeah, it's quite thin, at least for my uh, my rubbish lungs. But uh, there you go. This is what you'd expect to see when you come up to a Swiss mountain resort, if that's your thing. But be prepared to spend big, <laughs> oh, and be prepared to wear grips and new shoes as well. I'm a. Uh, not the grippiest of shoes, I must admit. It's a snow snowboarding place. Well, it's a ski resort as well, so yeah, it's primarily what uh, 
what people come here for. Obviously we're just here for the views. I'm too clumsy to ski or to snowboard. But yeah, you don't get to do this kind of stuff every day, do you? So it's worth worth the trip. <laughs> oh hello Tammy. There she is, she's come out of nowhere. Probably taking photos and videos. No, just taking it all in. Yeah, just absor okay. absorbing it. Ooh, mind your footing, it's uh it's a little bit slippy there. There you go. It's a typical scene you will see here in uh in a mountain village. Yeah, very nice. So what's the plan? Well, we're gonna go and take a train back to. No, I think we're gonna. I think we're taking a what's it called? A cable car down to Grindelwald. Grimmelwald. No, oh, it's called Grindelwald. Grindelwald. Taking a cable car down to there, and then you can get a train straight back to Lauterbrunn, and, and then we probably won't have much time before we've got to get a uh, train back to Basel. Uh, oh, yeah. Very magical. I'd certainly spend Christmas here, actually. But uh, again, cost effectiveness, I'd have to save in advance to do that, I think. But we've got a relatively cheap place over in, uh, over in Basel. Um, sorry. Um, getting in people's photo shoots. <laughs> we've got a bad habit of doing that, we have. But um, yeah, we, uh, we're going to go and visit this uh, Grindelwald place and uh, see what that's like and uh, yeah, enjoy what's left of the day because uh, it gets dark quite quickly as well uh, at the moment I think by about 3, 4ish it's currently what about 1 now so we'll start losing daylight soon so I want to try and make the most of it before we lose said daylight but I can see the cable car sign so we'll be on the cable car downwards now and uh, yeah, going to explore a slightly different place to this one. So join us on the uh, whole cable car journey. Right, so we've just seen a sign telling us where to go to get to the cable car for Gimmelwald, it's called. I thought it was called Grindelwald, but it's Gimmelwald. I think, no, I think there is a place called There is a great place called Grindelwald, but we've, we've, I, don't, I don't think this is it. <laughs> but regardless, it still looks very interesting. And then we can get a train from there, back to Lauterbrunn. And, uh, yep, see what the, uh, the day has. Is it Lauterbrunnen? It is, isn't it? Yeah. We were saying Lauterbrunnen, Lauterbrunnen. 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 Pronouncing it wrong all that time. <laughs> But uh, yeah, oh, yep, careful on the, the old snow, yeah. There we go, so that's the sign, Gimmelwald. And you can see that, let's get a bit closer. Private, private chalets, wow, look at that. You can imagine that would be quite, quite costly. <laughs> Slightly out of our budget, I reckon. I'm willing to wager. Nah, there we go. I can see there's some that goes up and then some that goes down. Yeah, the up one is what, what what cost 40 euros each I think. That's right, and that's half price, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And that is half price. Yeah. Ah, oh, so wonderful. I'm currently facing a new problem now. My bank has decided to block my card. I uh, paid to have uh, international payments. Uh, so my bank, um, what it does is uh, if I pay like seven pounds, um, should I pay for like should I pay for items abroad? I won't get charged like a con currency conversion rate. So seven pounds flat fee. Don't have to deal with that. So I paid for that, and I kind of assumed that that was my signal to them that I was going abroad. And obviously, being in Switzerland, my card's been blocked, uh, rejected a few times. So I've just ended up using my actual chip and pin rather than contactless. And now they've blocked my actual card. So now I'm going to call to them. Well, Tammy's. Yeah, you know, they've got me on hold and it's going to take up to 40 minutes to see me. So thank God this uh, nice scenery's, you know, kind of taking the edge off that situation a little bit. But uh, it'd be 40 minutes until they answer me. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> not the most ideal of scenarios, but it is what it is, I guess. 
Um, hopefully they'll get back to me shortly. <laughs> Still on hold, but the hike continues. And uh, I think Grimmelwald is just down there somewhere. <clears throat> so we're hiking downwards this time. We're usually hiking up a mountain or up a slope, as we did in uh, in Croatia. So it makes a little bit of a difference to uh, to do it like this, I guess. It was ever so slippy. There's been a few uh, near misses already. And the problem is we're currently, where we're walking, Oh look, there you go, look. Very nice. That's probably the one we could have got, Sam. <laughs> ah well, we live another day and all that. But um, yeah, the, the problem we've got currently is that um, like a bunch of people can come sledding or skiing down here, but it's also a walking path. But as you can see, there's not much stopping you from falling down a rather steep mountain. So <laughs> really trying to take our time with this, to be honest. All right, that's the, uh, that's the bank situation sorted, thankfully. Um, and as you can see, we have arrived in Grim Grimmelwald. Willkommen in Grimmelwald. So uh, I think what we can do from here is we can get the... Uh, well, it looks like you can only get it up. So <laughs> uh, up or down. Up or down. Oh, can you go down? No, we chose to walk down. Right, okay. Well, it turns out we didn't even need to do this. We could have just got on the, uh, the on the cable car. But that being said, we did want to do a mini hike. And even though it's been downhill, <laughs> it's, been, it's been somewhat of a hike. A uh, dangerous one. I mean, as I say, like, look at that drop. <laughs> but um, it's been bloody incredible. It's been absolutely amazing. Um, it really has. I've, I've never seen anything like this. It kind of, <laughs> I don't know if you, if you watch uh, my videos from Scotland when we went to um, uh, Fort William, we did some camping over there. I said it reminded me of Skyrim. Well, uh, this actually does remind me of Skyrim. And again, if you're not familiar with that, that's a video game. I'm currently playing that right now, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I always get the Christmassy vibe when I play Skyrim. It's like every single year I play that game. So, uh, yeah, playing it again this time. And, uh, kind of living in it currently as well except I'm not a, a Viking warrior unfortunately but uh hey if I can live out the uh, scenery part of things I'm happy so we're gonna go look around Grimmelwald and uh probably make our way back up and then start heading back to Lauterbrunnen in, in order to get our train home back to Basel so let's do this So there we go, there is Grimmelwald down there and that's where we're heading next. Imagine waking up to that every morning. Oh, this guy's brave, isn't he? Look at him. <laughs> Fair play. He got stuck halfway. Yeah, so the snow's quite thick today, but yeah. And there's the cable cart that's gonna take us down to the next uh, village. Someone's hungry. One thing I would recommend though, if you're coming here, is to uh, <clears throat> is to invest in some good quality grips for your shoes. Um, we didn't do that. We've been all right actually. <laughs> to, to my absolute surprise, we've had no issues with uh, with falling over or anything like that. Um, we've slipped a few times, but not not hit the deck as of yet, which is quite a miracle. But. Uh, yeah, so we were at some point, you probably can't see it, but we're all the way up there somewhere. We've got a helicopter up there. Oh, that's carrying. I'm getting like Final Destination vibes looking at that. <laughs> you can see that. It's a 
uh, yeah, it's uh, we're not far from coming down the mountain, finishing the uh, the old hike. I guess the opposite to a hike actually. It's more of a downhill walk at this point, but it's been incredible. I'd certainly recommend this to anybody. Uh, Switzerland is a is a beautiful country. What a country it is. Um, we, we didn't really come here with any kind of set expectations, but even still, it still exceeded everything that we could have possibly imagined. Uh, we were told by a few people who've been here before it'd be beautiful, but when you see it for your own eyes, and you see that for yourself, the valley's off into the distance. You know, just imagine what lives out there. There's probably a Yeti strolling around there somewhere. <laughs> no, I don't believe in that stuff. Or do I? You'll never know. But, um... Yeah, it don't get much better than that, does it? Hold on, sorry. Look at that bridge. There we go, so on lower ground, back on our feet, less likely to slip over. That in, that in itself is a result. So yeah, we got talking to a lovely lady actually up there. Um, didn't want to film because uh, we started talking, I thought I should, really shouldn't whip my camera out in the middle of this conversation and start recording her. So, uh, but we were talking about um, the different cantons of, um, of Switzerland. The canton is like a region, I guess you could say, in the same way that like Cambridgeshire is in England, for instance. Um, I guess that's, that's the, the only similarity I could really kind of pull from it. But uh, yeah, still equally as beautiful down here. But yeah, interestingly enough, she was telling us that actually um, Switzerland isn't really that expensive when you think about it, when you compare it to other places. Because there are quite a few places where things cost quite a bit. So she was saying, uh, for instance, New Zealand, she went there recently, it was quite expensive. Iceland, uh, Norway. Um, she said London was expensive, which I do agree with, London is expensive, but I guess in the same way, it does depend what part of London you go to. You go to the touristy areas and yeah, 100%. But yeah, nothing worse than a... Uh... Oh, we can get a... We're gonna get the bus to Love to Brunnen. If we can get on it, that is. That's the, that's the, that's the main question. Yeah, we made it on the bus, thankfully. It's not the one that we just that you just saw a minute ago. We couldn't get on that one. That was way too packed. We got on a bus, so yeah. We are now on route back to Lauterbrunnen. Uh, ready to get our train back because my feet are freezing. So back to where it all began in Lauterbrunnen. What an adventure. So we're back off now to the train station to head back to Interlaken and then back to uh, back to Basel from there. And I did confirm, I spoke to someone earlier and they said it is Basel unless you're from the French speaking side of things, which is then Baal. So there are two ways of saying it and maybe more than that as well. So we're here now at the old Bahnhof, the train station and Yes, we'll get this. Oh, we can get two minutes past four. Interlaken. Like, so, number two. <laughs> number two.
So that's it, our, uh, our journey through the Swiss Alps ends here. And we appreciate you joining us on our video. Um, and sounds like us, our train's coming here soon. So uh, we appreciate you watching. We have a great day. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care, people.